We are at a very pivotal moment in terms of space exploration. The Indian Space Research Organization has made rapid strides in the recent years. We have been successfully uh, landing on the south pole of the moon. And now today we have with us uh, ISRO Chairman Dr. V. Narayanan to talk us a little more about the upcoming human space flight, which is one of the most ambitious space missions to be launched by the Space Agency. Hello, sir. Welcome to CNN News 18. So my first question to you is, where do we really stand in terms of Gaganyaan? We have a lot of crewed and uncrewed space flights in the coming uh, two years. Uh, as you are aware, the Gaganyaan program is meant for taking Indians, using Indian launch vehicle to space and bring them back safely. That is the mission. And uh, to accomplish this, a lot of development has to take place. First of all, the launcher. We have to human rate the launcher. Human rating means we have to improve the margin, improve the redundancies, and ensure that it is a highly reliable vehicle. This activity of the Mar 3 vehicle is completely done. We are all the propulsion system testing is done, structural tests are done. I will say 98% it is completed. Second thing is the crew module, where the crew has to be accommodated and they have to be taken safe. That development, it is a pressurized compartment and that development realization is highly complex and we are in the final, final leg of realization. Third development is the environmental control and safety system. You know, when somebody has to go to space, you have to maintain the required pressure, required temperature, required relative humidity, and the carbon dioxide has to be kept under control, oxygen content has to be maintained. All these things very easy to say. To do that, in the engineering terms, almost 1,000 control components are required, and a lot of systems are required. This development is going in the final phase, and we are in the process of testing and qualification. Another, another one is, when you take the human being, due to some reason, you know, if the systems are not in order, we have to save them. So we have to develop a crew escape system. Basically, it's a fast burning solid motor system. The rocket is going with high speed. You know, what is the rocket velocity? Something around 25,000 kilometers per hour, that type of velocity it goes. And from that, you have to take them out. So that system you have developed, qualified, further qualification has to be done. Now, when they come back and land, and uh, it has to be done by a set of parachutes. Parachutes, nine parachutes are required and that development and qualification is going on. Now, when the systems are returning from orbit to Earth, there will be a lot of thermal flux, heat flux. Temperature rise will happen, so we have to develop thermal system. So it is a huge development. In addition to that, the human-centric activities like uh, the nude space, uh, space suit and space food and medical kit, all development has to take concurrently. Everything is going on. Today, the current status is uh, we have decided, before sending the actual human being, we will make three uncrewed missions. Because okay. we have to be very clear whether the rocket is safe, things are in order, what is the type of thermal flux, and what is our estimate, and is it in order, is it matching, mm -hmm. and end-to-end -end mission management, starting from liftoff phase to bringing them back safely, everything has to be demonstrated. So the first uncrewed mission, where instead of human being, there will be a biomitra, a beautiful woman, robotic, will be staying there. And that mission we are targeting before this year end. Right. And the full work activity toward that is going on. In fact, uh, day for yesterday, we had a review up to early morning, 2.33. Our reviews are going on like that. And that mission is planned this year. Right. Once we succeed, every six months, we will have the next mission. And right. we are going to accomplish the actual mission. So the scientists at Indian Space Research Organization have been dedicatedly working to make this mission a success. They've already shortlisted uh, four astronaut candidates for the human space flight program. One of them is Group Captain Subhanshu Shukla, and he will be traveling to the International Space Station very soon aboard Axiom Mission 4. Sir, how important is that mission for human space flight? No, actually, when you talk about this human space flight uh, program, a uh, lot of experience has to be gained. One is the first time you are interfacing human, you know. So 1984 was historical day for us. Rageh Sarmaji, he was sent to space one week. So he had a lot of training, exposure. In fact, today the entire thing is useful for our Kaganyan program. Next one, Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji, I think he is a visionary leader. He very clearly visioned that we have to have one of our uh, Gaganyatris going to send to uh, International Space Station. This is his vision. Uh, which will bring a lot of data to us, you know. So it was his idea. Now we are going to send, uh, in fact, two people were selected and they were put through the training. And one of the Gaganyan Yatri will go to, for the first time, to International Space Station. And that is, uh, dates are yet to be finalized, likely to happen during the first week of June. 
but uh, then the once the date comes will tell and this will bring lot of advantage for the gaganyaan program so everything is towards the achieving our own human space flight program so this program by sending him he will gain confidence already has undergone training and they will carry out experience uh, experiments he will understand how to work in the hostile environment with couple of colleagues and uh, then what type of experiment how to handle what type of routine he has to undergo all experience will feed to our human space flight gaganyaan program right so uh, an important question is we talked about the our lunar missions we successfully performed space docking this year uh, india became only the fourth country in the world to achieve this feat so the space agency is also planning to conduct more experiments on space docking could you tell us a little more about it no the space docking the requirement is like this Uh, for example, we are having one mission, Chandrayaan four. Chandrayaan three, the satellite mass was around four thousand kg. Chandrayaan four is a sample return mission. We have to carry nine thousand six hundred kg satellite. So this can be done. You have to either build a new rocket with our current rocket. We cannot carry uh, do it. So we are planning to take in two modules. Once you take two modules, you have to join. Docking is nothing but joining, soft joining in space, and then. Uh, you have to go as it together then the module has to separate land on moon take sample and come back basically in the chandrayaan 4 two times you have to dock and three times you have to undock now to do that type of things we have to, and of course next is we are building a going to build a space station right. and space station is a 52000 kg 50 sorry 52 ton mass has to be placed in orbit so we are going to have five modules and five modules individually you take you have to dock and join and then somebody is going you have to undock and come back all these things has to happen in order to gain experience we put a experimental thing called space uh, the spadex experiment uh, last year december we had the successful launch now please understand one thing this docking when you say joining two satellite people should not think what is that great in that in delhi road i told you two cars are going with 100 km per hour two cars are going and one car you are sitting another car your mother is sitting and both have to go and join together in a soft way without uh, hitting Polite. you know what type of things are required right. you please imagine just to how to go uh, get and dock just imagine here two satellites are rotated with 28000 km per hour velocity right. and there using a set of uh, camera here at least drivers are there there nobody is there right. using a set of cameras algorithms propulsion systems and inertial systems you have to ensure everything comes closer and exactly you have to in micron level accuracy it has to dock yeah. and we have done this experiment successfully mm -hmm. january 16th was a historical day for india and we are the one among four countries done that not only once mm -hmm. and first time when we did we faced little problems then we docked mm -hmm. and second attempt was done this april it was like a child play it was done and uh, today not only docking docking undocking and after docking Uh, transferring power from one satellite to another satellite like a child play today the indian scientists have done but this child play work has not come just like that last four years sleepless nights people have spent in doing analysis experimentation doing simulation and then it is done and now i want to tell important thing 50 percent fuel only is used remaining is available and with that we can do so much experiment generate data in addition to that we are also going to have second spadex mission uh, which will be really uh, the little different type it will be close to the actual configurations that we are configuring and then that also will be done because when you go with the actual uh, manned program or space station you cannot take risk and you cannot uh, spoil money and uh, and uh, so mm -hmm. so we have to do lot of experiments and towards that whatever is required the isro scientists are working and doing so just one last message to billion plus people who keep looking at isro and the, the missions that are expected to happen very soon what is your message to people who are watching it see number one the indian space program started with a bullock cart and bicycle era we used to transport uh, rocket parts in bicycle and uh, satellite in bullock cart from that era last 63 years we have grown to greater heights and right now we are growing in exponential growth honorable prime minister modi ji has given a clear vision and direction to us and we are going to accomplish lot of new mission right now there are 55 satellites serving the common man of this country in multiple places this has to be increased to 145 satellites in another few years and then lot of new programs like human space flight program chandrayaan 4 program venus orbiter mission and so many things are lined up and really it is a exciting and i want to tell only thing indians are second to none great in that's the space program 
That's a great note to end with. Uh, ISRO has really lined up several missions for this year. We have an uncrewed flight later this year. Sir, thank you so much uh, for speaking to CNN News 18.